the new iPads, the 2018 and the 2020 iPad, whether you've got the 11-inch or the 12.9-inch, are fantastic. They're a powerhouse, they're amazing, and they can do lots of different things. For musicians, most stuff is USB-A, and this is USB-C. So I did a video on the hyperdrive last year, and you can go back and watch that. I'll put it in the cards now. But I found something really, really cheap, and it gives you four USB-As and plugs directly into one of these. And here it is. So this is a USB-A hub with a USB-C plug on the end. And it's by a company called Ray Q, and they are on Amazon. And this thing was $11.99. And it is plastic, but it kind of looks like it's made out of aluminium, but it's really not. But it's really, really cheap. Now, the reason why I'm pro sort of promoting this, as it were, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but the reason why I found this is because when I plugged it in, I thought, what can I do with it? You buy a new hard drive now, you get the USB-C cable in the box. But with musical equipment, and certainly for music recording, a lot of audio interviews interfaces are still USB-A, uh, keyboards are still USB-A, and only now we're going to start to see USB-C sort of dripping in, but not really. So if you've got existing equipment, you've made an investment in that equipment, you need to plug it into your device. So if you're recording into something like GarageBand or anything else on the iPad, you need something like this. Now the hyperdrive that I did the video on, which I left in the cards, is fantastic, but it gives you one USB-A port. This gives you four USB-A ports connected to USB-C, and this thing is 12 pounds. And my audio interface is still USB-A, and at the same time, I've got a keyboard that I want to plug in, which is also USB-A as well. So you can get a USB-C keyboard for this, as in typing keyboard, but my musical keyboard is USB-A. So I want to plug in the audio interface and the keyboard at the same time, and it works. It works really well, in fact. So it just plugs in, and of course, there's enough bandwidth to send the power and also send the data over to both devices. If you're looking for something to attach, of course, there's many companies out there that do that, but this is pretty much the cheapest one I've found that works well. With technology, of course, as technology moves on, this is now in USB-C, and this is USB 3.0 with USB-A. So the speed of this is actually really, really nice and fast. But USB 3 speed with the A connector means that all my existing stuff I can plug in. I've got a old hard drive that I could plug in with this whilst plugging in my audio interface, whilst plugging in my MIDI keyboard, and it all works. If you've got printers, you've got scanners, you've got a mouse, you've got a keyboard, like a typing keyboard, you can plug this directly in and it will work. Now, if you've got anything that is obviously USB-C, of course, you can plug that in. And it doesn't just limit itself to Apple, of course. If you plug it into a USB USB-C phone, um, if you're plugging it into a MacBook, for example, or another laptop that has USB-C. And the other thing as well, plugging it in certainly to the iPad, there's no drivers to install. You just plug it in and nothing actually happens until you plug the other bit that goes into here. So if I plug in the MIDI keyboard, then it recognizes the keyboard. If I plug it in the Focusrite, it just recognizes the Focusrite. This has got quite a high rating in Amazon and loads of people have said it's just easy to set up and use, just plug in and play. It does exactly what it says on the tin and it's a really useful piece piece of kit. If you want to support me a little bit more, you can do. You can buy one of these. This is one of my t-shirts. This is the How Do You Loop t-shirt. If you're a looper or you're into loop music, then this is a t-shirt for you. And I've set that up on Teespring, and I'll put the links in the description box below. I hope you found the content of this video useful, and if you have, please give it a thumbs up. It just lets YouTube know that you like it, and it gives it out to more people, and it helps me and helps the channel grow. You can also support me by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com, and the links for that are in the description box as well. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.